Okay guys, I'm going to tie you a wee salmon fly and this one's called the uh, glow butt spay. Now the hook and the vise is a C6 Partridge Patriot uh, single in black nickel. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni 3880 in black. So I'm just going to come in and we'll get our thread started behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run my thread down and open turns and turn my threads between the, the point and the barb of the hook. And then I'm going to come in and remove the waist tag of thread. Now the tag's in two parts. The first part is a silver tinsel. And I'm using a uni mailer, silver and gold, in size 12. Just tie that in. And then to protect that, I'm just going to put on a wee dab of super glue, just on the back. And I'll just bring this up over the top. Now what you could do... You can put on your silver tinsel, then your glow bright floss butt, and then UV resin over the top or super glue and varnish. Just to, for the speed of the video, just a wee drop of super glue over the top. Just going to trim away the excess there. Rid of that now. Just going to bring my thread up over the cut ends of the tinsel. Here I have two strands of glow bright floss number seven. Just going to offer it up to the hook. Pull it in. Then I'm going to run this down to the silver tinsel. Nice and tight. And then I'm going to bring it back up again. around with my thread. A couple of tight turns now to secure. Just want to keep this on the side of the hook. This is more for strength than anything and run it the whole way up. Like I say you could protect it and put on resin, super glue, varnish up to, you, up to there. Now the rib on the way back down we'll tie this in. This is a uni French twist silver tinsel and medium. Take a length of this off. Trim that away. I'm just going to offer this up to the hook just where that wire is bent round to form the eye. Now I'm just going to keep the uni twist on my side of the hook. Work my thread back down open turns to the glow bright floss tag. The first two thirds of the body, this is SLF black SLF and it has flax of flies to it. You could use black seals fur. Just work that up the first two thirds of the body. The last third is the orange SLF. This just has flax of gold and copper flies to it. Much like the black. Good stuff. Good stuff to use. Easy to dub. Do there anything that's going forward? Just sweep it back. Then we're going to bring up our uni twist. Now you're looking five turns of the French tinsel up the body of there, following around with your thread. Get a couple of tight turns in to secure, and then you can come in and trim that away. I'm going to bring out some of the dubbing, so this is just some Velcro. On an ollie pop stick, just come in and give your body a good head with the dubbing. Just basically scrub the dubbing out like it owes you money. Now, the first part of the wing is orange cock haggle feathers, and you just want to get them lined up. Got them lined up here. Now, you can have this here as long as short as you like it's entirely up to you so let's get the tips together I'm just going to have mine coming the tips coming to the the bend of the hook then I'm going to come in just hold it there and then clear a tan space for yourself if you like so just bring out the fibers and then strip them off the stem of the haggle now at this stage I just come in under the stems with my thumbnail and press my thumbnail down in just to put an indent 
into the stem and that'll get it to kick up for you. Just come around with nice tight turns. At this stage don't worry about that sitting high. So we have another part of the wing and that'll lower that down just make sure it's centered. Which it is. And then I'm going to come in and trim away the stems. Bring my thread down over the cut ends of the stems. Then the way back up you want some red crystal flash. Now you don't want to go going nuts with stuff, you only want one strand on either side of this part of the wing. So a couple of turns, you want to fold this bit, your back this bit and run it up your side. You don't want to come in and take a measurement and trim it to the same length as the one that's on my side. Just hold it down, just make sure it's sitting. Just wants to sit out, but it will sit in a minute once we put the wing on. Now, the next part of the wing is grey squirrel tail dyed black. Of some here in the stagger, so I'm just going to give this a rattle. All the tips have lined up for us, so we'll just take it out of the stagger. Now, usually I'll measure and then trim with enough space here at the, the head. To be able just to tie it on normally. Now, I just want this to be less the length of the orange hackles. I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop, keeping this on top. These are nice tight turns here. Then come in, pack it up. Then we're going to come in and lift their cut ends, trim away the excess. This one. And trim that away. Just going to get a wee dab of the super glue. Just put it on the cut ends of the squirrel. Just going to come in and hold my wing. And then just bring this down over the, the cut ends of the, the squirrel. Just has a tendency to pull out. This will just help the fly last a wee bit longer. Any excess of the glue will just wipe it away in a wee second. Just tidy this up, sweep that away. The front haggle is a GP golden pheasant breast feather, dyed black. I'll just come in and get a nice feather. Remove all the rubbish from the end. Just get your tip, stroke back the, the feathers, or the fiber that's on the feather, sorry. Just to create a Christmas tree type shape. Just to get your tip. Just come in. A couple of tight turns. You want to fold back the tip. Okay, just get a hold of your, your tip. Come in and trim that away. Now, if we get two turns out of this, we'll be we'll be lucky. So we'll just use the whole the whole feather up. Got one full turn. Just come round then, catch in your stem. Right, nice tight turns here because the stems of the GP breast feathers are right in the thick of times. Come in and just trim that away. I'm just going to come in and hold my tips of my haggle because I want to just open this up just so you can see the fly because it is a good wee fly it's a nice wee pattern just going to stroke anything that's going forward back and then you can build up your head right. I'm just going to tell you the this is the original pattern for the fly I tied Another one there this evening with jungle cock, but I know that the one of it putting jungle cock on for you is just want to show you the, the correct pattern. So I'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish. Just tidy your head up a wee bit. Put your thread tight. Come in and trim away the access. Now, just as always, first coat on the head. Drop a super glue. Right the whole way right round. 
don't want this running into your hackles. Just ruin your fly on you. And once that dries, I'll come in and hit that with another coat of varnish, maybe two. But I'll just show you the one that's tied with the, the jungle cock. That's it there. Tied with the, the jungle cock. But I just uh, sometimes you feel, you know, when you're watching YouTube videos that you need to tie the pattern the same way that it's being shown to you. And you don't. You genuinely don't. Just tie the, the pattern with the materials that you've got. The fly will still work. It's all about confidence when you're running that down a pool, in my opinion. So look, there you go guys. That's the the glue butt spay. You change out the colours of the haggle, you make them red, change the tag at the back, make that gold. That's a different colour combination you could come up with that wee pattern. So look, tie a few up, get a few of them in your box, hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video, I really appreciate it. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. Helps the wee channel out. And until next time guys, take lanes.